What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Larry Sets. So, back here again for another video. Today, we have another death battle. This one is Magneto versus Tetsuo, Marvel versus Akira death battle. So, we're about to be checking this one out. Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm not familiar with Akira. I'm not familiar with the character of Tetsuo. However, I am familiar with Magneto, the master of, of uh, magnetism. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, we're going to be checking this out. But before we get into it, you let me know down below in the comments. How's your day? Hopefully, it was pretty good. But if it wasn't, hopefully, this message is just a little bit better. Also, let's just... Uh, I'm a, I'm a reserve judgment until after I've seen like the little precursors about each character because I don't know anything about Tetsuo. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little biased. I like Magneto more, obviously, because I know about I know about him. But anyways, we're gonna I'm not gonna have any judgment yet. But before we get into it, haven't already subscribe, man. You know the goal. We were trying to hit a thousand subscribers before summertime. Summertime is pretty much here at this point, but still the goal hasn't stopped. It's still so close to getting a thousand subscribers if you haven't already considered subscribing literally it's going to help you boy out tremendously with the content this summer because i'm trying to go crazy with my content man and i really like to have that 1k under the name that way you know hey content is on a roll it's gonna it's gonna keep going man so anyways haven't already liked the video and uh subscribe help you boy out let's get it man let's go death battle all right let's turn this up Tsuoshima, Akira's telekinetic terror of Neo Tokyo. These Neo two Tokyo. maestros of Kinesis have ignited revolution not just in their worlds, but also the very mediums they exist within. Akira. He's Akira's familiar. I've heard and of it. I've never actually watched it, though. Weapons, but it definitely sounds familiar. He looks familiar. Alright, let's see. In the short duration of modern civilization, Likely no conflict tested humanity more than the Second World War. Okay, In the primary off Marvel 616 universe, this fact is no different. Especially to the Eisenhart family and their only son. You may know him as Magnus, Eric, or Max. Eric. But if you ask him, he'd say his true name is Magneto. As a Jewish child in Nazi Germany, Magneto's Max early life Eisenhart, was, Eric well, Lencher, extremely Magnus, traumatic. 16, Even after eventually escaping certain death with his future wife, misfortune always followed wherever Nazi he went. Thanks to his unexpected mutation called the X gene, the mm -hmm. mark of a superhuman. After mm -hmm. settling down in Russia with his new family, the KGB quickly found out about this quirk. So they burned his house down with his own daughter inside. Papa. Naturally, he snapped and killed them all. I don't blame him. I'd do that too. Yeah. Too bad his wife didn't get it and ditched him though. But that's when Magneto made a choice. Since humans hurt him his entire life, he'd do the same to them in the name of mutants everywhere. At first, Magneto turned to the telepathic powerhouse Charles Xavier and his fledgling team of heroes. Mm -hmm. But his new friend wasn't thrilled with the idea of... Uh, I always found it interesting how, you know, people kind of have the, the whole, like, comparison with, like, Professor X and Mag Magneto, similar to the likes of, like, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, you know what I'm saying? The kind of juxtaposition of one's a bit more on the extreme side, but the other's more of a pacifist, you know what I'm saying? Subjugating the human race. So, Magneto formed his own team of Oh, that was cool. I like that. How you Magneto that. can telekinetically move, Flight, bend, and there. reshape any metal he's aware of. Bullets, right. vehicles, buildings, you name it. Even Astral himself, projection? When he manipulates I know his you do that. Magnetic one hork, flight one and energy barriers. Creation. Magnetokinesis is far more versatile than it would appear at first glance. Gotcha. The blood in your body has iron in it. The right. air has traces of lead and mercury. Whole mountains are lined with metallic ore. The earth itself is surrounded by a literal magnetic field. So many toys for Maggie to play with. He can detect Maggie. <laughs> magnetic fields at such a huge range. He can even pinpoint Earth's magnetic rays while stranded on a planet in another galaxy. What? And guess what? He was able to use those rays to pull himself back to Earth in a single day. His range is even what more remarkable heck? than that. Did you know that in 1820, physicist Hans Christian Oersted discovered that electric currents, like those of electrons and protons and atoms, produce their own magnetic fields. Mm. Magneto can fine-tune his control to affect these very subatomic particles. Dummy here will illustrate such a particle, okay. with positively charged protons and negative electrons. Mm. <sighs> My life is as meaningless as an atom is small. So what you're saying is Magneto could, like, yank one of those out. Correct. Potentially changing an atom's entire chemical makeup. However, neutrons do not have a charge, and without the ability to adjust those to accommodate the change in atomic mass, the atom would become unstable and... Bust. Finally... Right now at Conzone Plus, get hundreds of this items... This animation is interesting. Plus... 
the little drone bot thing they got. Do that. Okay. Magneto's violent protest against humankind clashed with Xavier's peaceful reconciliation. Right. Not unlike the ideologies taught by Malcolm X and yeah, Dr. See? King, okay. by whom Stan Lee and Jack Kirby were inspired. Magneto would spend most of his career pushing Xavier away to prove his philosophy superior, which meant doing battle with Xavier's school of thought. Quite literally. Aunt Baldi's mind powers are no joke, but yeah. thanks to Magneto's psionic repelling helmet, Professor X couldn't touch him. Magneto survived okay. Cyclops' earth-splitting lasers, absorbed the power of the sun to battle Iron Man, ripped the adamantium skeleton out of Wolverine's body. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Overpowered Hercules and Thor's hammer, ripped apart Wolverine's adamantium skeleton, survived miniature neutron star bullet, resisted mental attack from Professor X and the Frost, defeated X-Men, Avengers, Red Skull, and Apocalypse, pulled the uh, break world bullet at near light speed, flew between galaxies in a short time frame. Hey, man, you gotta stop playing with Magneto, man. <laughs> And even taking on Hercules himself. You know, wow. the Greek legend, right. Zero to Hero, right. the guy who held up the skies of Olympus for Atlas? <laughs> that Jeez. Hercules. Seems sensible. Magneto once used the Earth's magnetic field to overwhelm the Phoenix Force, which can effortlessly destroy planets, let alone far more. Hell, if okay, he really wanted to, can. Magneto could totally just fling the Earth off its axis. It's entirely possible he may have eventually resorted to just that. Over time, it became clear Magneto's war was doing far more harm than good for his fellow mutants, mm -hmm. however well-intentioned he may have been at first. Luckily, he later realized he was going a bit overboard and began reevaluating his perspective. Good for you, Mags. It's really tough to recognize when you're the Betty. It took time and patience not just from Magneto, but also from his peers. Yet eventually, his path was completely changed. He even became a leader for Xavier's X-Men. But don't Aww. let his new goody two-shoes ways fool you. Whenever there's a threat to mutants, you can bet Magneto will be there to annihilate it. Forever. By any means necessary. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was going to give him like, let him say like a cool line or something. They didn't even let him do that. Damn. Kind of early for the uh what's it called, isn't it? Fresh America's number 1 meal kit. Usually they'll wait till like right before the battle. To the promo over and stuff. Over 30 years ago, a new type of bomb right, was set off over Tokyo, and 9 hours later began the Third World War. Welcome really? to 2030, or okay. 2019 if you're watching the anime. The buildings are taller, the motorcycles are cooler, and the future is brighter. No, wait, not really. If you this find animation looks really game, good. I like how old Shotaro it looks. You'll meet Shotaro Kaneda, who's like your textbook anime chad. Gets okay. the ladies, beats the baddies, and cops the sweetest rigs. Man, I need to get me one of those. That's and cool. then there's the little brother of the group, Kaneda's best friend, Tetsuo Shima. Tetsuo. He's... Well, he's got a big head. Opposite, a total wimp. As a kid, Tetsuo and his college Five, four. forehead got bullied One, for two. being the new kid at the orphanage. That's Gang until number. Big Bro Canada came to the rescue. Eventually, the two went to vocational school together and formed the Capsules. But Tetsuo was never satisfied with Canada being the leader of the pack. Tetsuo mm -hmm. desired more than anything to be top dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can just see that monkey's paw curling in my mind. Or that kid walking down the street. Shit, Tetsuo, watch out, you're gonna... Oh! Did he hit that him? definitely should have killed him. But since it didn't, Tetsuo earned himself a ticket to military confinement. Turns out they had an under-the-table program for developing child super weapons. In the same program that backfired and jump-started the war, Tetsuo became Japan's Esper number 41. He may not Esper. have been a natural with bikes, baddies, or babes, but this telekinesis... Kind of like psych mob different. psycho, He Esper. walked out of that hospital ward effortlessly flying, reading minds, and blending people into strawberry jelly. Oh my Tetsuo gosh. got what he wanted. Power, along with the hunger for more of it. Oh, a Jesus. hunger that used to only be satiated with drugs. And not just any gateway drug. Pills so potent that a single gram of the stuff could kill you. So, what? pretty bad. Kind of reminds me of college days, huh? Snow wizard. <coughs> Snow wizard. Is his uh. <laughs> psionic energy, growing more and okay. more powerful over time. Right. This is due to Tetsuo's link to, quote, the memories of the universe, end quote. It's weird. Either right. way, Tetsuo leveled up from lame gangbuster to certified badass. This guy is a walking natural disaster. His telekinesis can shake the planet, easily cause earthquakes over a dozen miles below the surface. He can summon psychic barriers for defense and crush okay. foes with freaking gravity wells. He okay. can dart around as a literal bolt of lightning or That's even cool. teleport in an instant. 
Tetsu okay, that's pretty dope. Can be so precise, he can target and obliterate specific parts of the body. He can heal severe wounds quickly, but even after losing a whole limb, he can craft a new one using whatever nearby materials he wants. With Whoa. these powers, Top Dog Canada didn't matter. Hold on, hold on. Telekinesis, psychic barriers, regeneration, inorganic absorption, gravitational wells, flight and teleportation, lightning maneuver maneuverability, telepath, continuous growth and power over time, ego collapse form. Anymore. Needed his approval. Tetsuo tasted that good shit and he was hooked. And when he found out another expert named Akira could deal him even more power, he rampaged through Tokyo to find him. And this is where versions of the story differ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spoilers ahoy! You Dang. may be familiar I with the kind of watch this. animation where Akira had been dissected for research. Uh -huh. However, in the original manga, Akira is not only alive, but even more powerful. Once that little runt nuked Tokyo, Tetsuo would erect the Great oh Tokyo gosh. Empire with Akira and himself as its leaders. But he ended up just abusing the position for endless sex and inflating his ego. With Kanada's rebellion at his front door, Tetsuo took a turn for the worse. He had to fight. Tetsuo's defeated other powerful espers, dodged light speed lasers, and jumped to the Can moon faster Earth than hundred times blink, over. And then punched the moon the big old hole in it. And if you ask, Boomstick, wouldn't that mess up gravity on Earth? You would be right because it totally did. Screw I'm gonna be planet, honest. I guess. Stupid moon. Which brings us to Tetsuo's fall. Sounds like his abuse of his powers spiraled until he lost control. Unfortunately for Kanada's rebellion, this did not make Tetsuo an easier enemy to confront. Mm -hmm. Exactly opposite, in fact, has Tetsuo painfully mutated into an unstoppable behemoth. Yep, that's not totally disturbing that's at all. Gross. I'm happy to say the Ew, is gross to look at. Disturbing. I mean, I know babies can be monsters, but that's a whole nother level. Yeah, that's it gross. Is pain incarnate. I can relate. Another expert described Tetsuo's struggle as ego death, which has multiple definitions, but in this case, is likely symbolic of the version attributed to drug use. Okay. Yeah, it's described as a shedding of one's own identity, like how LSD can emulate a wild out-of-body experience, and you come back with a new perspective. Okay. Though this is maybe a little more extreme. In fact, yeah. you could say Tetsuo was shedding his human body to play with the powers of a god. I wish that I could Mori? shed out of my my body but in this case tetsuo going full out of body meant becoming a mound of raw ever expanding energy mm. which almost nuked tokyo all over again and those explosions are not normal i right. would know top scientists in both <laughs> the manga I and animated know. versions describe these explosions as births of a new universe Given its properties of nuclear fusion and proton collapse, Tetsuo's mutated form was likely creating a big bang. You know, the thing Wait that started minute. our what? whole universe? Right. In the manga, it instead ended the espers and their abilities once and for all. A testament that humankind is unsuited to wield the powers of the divine. Though the anime is even more trippy. Thanks to Akira and his buddies, Tetsuo got so high on ego death, he ascended time space to become god of a new universe. Kind, kind of worth it, right? And yet, Canada kept his empire up okay. in his honor. Now as the great Akira Empire. Ironically, in death, Tetsuo finally received the attention he so desperately craved. Guys, the Yubi key access I'm being completely visible. honest here. This guy seems pretty OP. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this guy seems pretty OP. I really um um, I'm a bit uh, this episode I'm a bit uh like you know I, I I'm kind of worried for my guy Magneto. I'm not even gonna lie about it. Uh, here's here's the deal. Okay, look, I want Magneto to win. However, based off feats, it sounds like Tetsuo's got this in the bag. Only thing that they mentioned in here that I was like, okay, maybe this is could be his biggest fault is that the fact that he seems to be a little off. You know what I'm saying? Like they mentioned this whole ego death thing where he just basically succumbs and becomes that big blob or whatever it is. How they're describing how powerful that is. And then he may kill him with that. Like, other than that, though, it's like, this guy is pretty, this guy is pretty powerful. He's pretty tough. So, here's the deal. I prefer Magneto to win. But I'm thinking Tetsuo's got this. So with that being said, um, Tetsuo wins, which is technically I guess who I'm going for. Subscribe, because I guess that my guess, my guess is my guess is valid. Subscribe. So subscribe if Tetsuo wins. If Magneto wins, like the video, because I like maybe some of you wanted Magneto to win. 
So it's a win-win regardless. You know what I'm saying? Usually I'm I'm a bit more split towards one way, but this is an interesting spot I've been placed in, and I must make a decision. So I think Akira's got it. That's who I'm putting my money on, but I prefer if Magneto won. That's where I'm going with this. Y'all let me know how y'all feel, and uh, let's see what the results are. Let's go. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. This, this guy just seems way too OP. Although Magneto's got some interesting feats, I didn't see him. I didn't uh, foresee. In Japan, failed to recognize our superiority. Dang. Wrong country, Grandpa. You're not your turf now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa. Already getting the best of him already. All right. Let's see how this goes. It reminds me a lot of Mob Psycho, like this character. Like with all espers and then telekinesis and stuff. Ooh! Took off his arm. He's gonna replace it with something. Some spare parts. Yeah. <laughs> he picked up a whole building. Oh snap! Oh, he crushed his insides or something. Ah shoot! Ah shoot! Come on, Magnus. Do something dope. He just yell. Ah, yeah, I think he's definitely quicker. He's got more versatility, too. Whoa. Whoa, the helmet's off. No. The helmet's off. I like this. Oh, oh. No way. turning into that creature, right? Is it about to be a draw? Ah, oh, dang, Magnus. Ah, I knew it. it was going to come to this. Ew. The heck? It's like a bloodlust mode or something for Magneto? What was that? The iron in the blood and stuff? <laughs> Yo, this is dope. This is pretty good, actually. I like how they're showing versatility, especially in Magneto's powers. Oh! 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 Whoa! Whoa! It just keeps going. Who's got it? Straight to the head. Thank you. Magneto one. I'm not even mad. I'm. I should have stuck with my gut then. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted, I was biased towards Magneto. I just didn't want to be like, oh, well, I'm obviously biased. So I just, I didn't want to go based off that, but. <laughs> Magne <laughs> Magneto won. Uh, like the video and, um, you know what? Subscribe. We're on a road to 1,000 subscribers. Go ahead, just subscribe. You know what I'm saying? You, you enjoy the content. You know, you like it. Anyways, let's go. I, I kind of, does this count on the streak? I mean, technically, I went on record saying, I think Akira is going to win. But I I was rooting in a sense like I wanted Magneto to win. So does this break the streak or not? Because I've been on a winning streak when it comes to death battles for the last like three of them. You know what I'm saying? Does this break the streak or not? Y'all streak? Y'all let me know down below in the comments. <sighs> I'm not mad. I'm actually quite happy and surprised. I'm never doing that again. Tetsuo's esoteric telekinesis and I got bizarre okay. abilities. Magneto's stronger. Didn't know that. Faster. Really? Okay. Tougher. 
Okay. Mag Nikinesis counter Tesla's offense, magnetic senses, counter Tesla's mobility, inferior healing options. You're right. Tesla could eventually grow more powerful. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Could kill Magneto without a shield. Yeah. Telekinesis had a bar range of effect. Yeah. Uh those application was less versatile. Over over exoration, risk bodily harm, far less combat and tactical exp Okay. Good points, good points. Certainly gave Magneto pause, but the master of magnetism had greater control over his foe. Mm -hmm. The numbers don't lie. Tetsuo cratering the moon was insane, but Magneto right. punched Iron Man with the force of the sun. And while Tetsuo jumped all the way to the moon, Magneto could move across galaxies. Yeah, okay, Against okay, Tetsuo okay, okay. Human okay. Form, Magneto obviously held a sizable advantage in power and speed. But stats aren't all that matters. With his precise telekinesis, Tetsuo could just target Magneto's organs. That's what I was thinking. Right? Like, yes, but from Magneto inside. had similar skills. There are very few substances on Earth that lack any metallic or magnetic component. Mm -hmm. And Magneto is very creative with his powers. Mm -hmm. Which he could use to predict Tetsuo's teleportation and even shut down really? his telekinesis. And what? his scraps with Xavier prove he could handle Tetsuo's messing with his head. The biggest challenge for Magneto was when Tetsuo's gross mutated power came yeah, into play. Especially given how the detonations from this form were compared to that of a Big Bang. Although the authenticity of that observation is questionable. In truth, uh -huh. the Big Bang was a sudden expansion of matter on a universal scale, whereas Tetsuo's explosions are more akin to nuclear blasts, clearly mm -hmm. intentional given the post-war symbolism of the Akira story. The whole creating an alternate universe bit wasn't even part of the original material, so we really? can't exactly call it canon. Okay. But let's just say the comparison wasn't superfluous. Let's say Tetsuo did in fact cause a Big Bang capable of creating or destroying an entire universe, alternate right. or otherwise. Uh -huh. Turns out Magneto had the tools to stop that too. Helmet Head could overpower Hercules, who was right. strong enough to hold up the skies of Olympus, which is literally heaven and an alternate universe. This doesn't necessarily mean Magneto could easily destroy a universe with a snap of his fingers, but right. it does prove he can match a similar level of power. And okay. context is everything. Tetsuo's Big Bang eruption specifically exhibited proton collapse, meaning its atomic structure was primarily an unstable this music mess they of got neutrons and God electrons. Here, huh? And Magneto has detected and commanded unstable electrons before. This okay. means Magneto had every means available to take control over this Big Bang. Look, Damn, I'm learning a lot about Magneto. <laughs> It's like the question posed by some of the greatest prophets of our time. Fucking magnets. How do they even work? Magneto's astonishing magnets. power and intelligent control over all things magnetism triumphed in the end. Okay. Tetsuo pushed his luck, but didn't have the medal to pull off the win. The winner is Magneto. Hey, my boy won. I'm not even mad. Thank I was good one. I like that. The animation was like really good. Shout out to Death Battle. Battle. Click that join button and Let's see what the next one is. We'd really appreciate it. Hope you like the next one. Next time. Moses? Is it biblical? Whoa. Hercules versus Sun Wukong. June now nah, that's interesting. Hercules versus Sun Wukong. I'm not I'm 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 not super familiar with Sun Wukong, but I've heard of it. So and Hercules is like a, a character based off like you know mythology, but he's also a character, you know who put. I'm I'm assuming they're going with the mythological like version of Hercules and not like a particular version from like the MC or something like that. Um, and then Sun Wukong I also think is another kind of like old tale type of character or individual. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. You guys actually fill me in. Fill me in. I don't want to say nothing wrong. Anyways though. Back to Magneto versus Tesla. Great, great, great death battle, man. I uh, enjoyed it. Let me know down below in the comments how you felt about it. If you haven't already, go ahead, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Literally subscribe. It takes less than two seconds. It's practically free. You know what I'm saying? I enjoyed this one. Y'all let me know if y'all agreed, y'all disagreed. Did it, was it something they missed? Is it something they could clearly, you know, forgot to acknowledge about the, the characters? You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, you know, death battle has, um, I ain't gonna say a reputation, but, you know, people haven't been known to, like, sometimes disagree and or de debunk some of their death battles. So, y'all let me know how you felt about this one. I clearly, like I said, don't know too much about uh, Tesla. I know more about Magneto, and even then, I was still learning quite a bit of new things about Magneto. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going based off what they told me for this one. For this one. Now, there's other characters and stuff on which I'm very familiar on. Like, the one I was watching. What was it, the one I watched? It was one about Thor, and then people were trying to arguing and battle with me about certain feats and stuff like I, I i know quite a bit about thor way more i know about thor than i do like magneto anyways though 
But y'all let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts were. Make sure you subscribe to Death Battle uh, Screw Attack. Also, if you haven't already, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Literally on the road to 9,000. Not 9,000. 1,000 subscribers. 9,000 pretty soon. <laughs> but 1,000 subscribers is go right now. So if you haven't already subscribed, uh, follow me on Twitch. You can follow me on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram at Lee Russell. So, same to Twitch channel. That being said, peace.